Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you some uses of Microsoft Excel formulas. In particular, I'm going to show you summing and averaging numbers. So let's open up Excel by clicking on our Start button. Go into All Programs, Microsoft Office. Let's open up Excel. Now let's say that I have a series of numbers. I'm just going to type in some numbers here. They could be anything. They could be the number of uh, sales that your employees had or the number of visitors to an event. And there's my series of numbers. And I want to create first a sum and an average for these numbers. So if you click on formulas, you have here a list of all the formulas that um, Excel has built into it. And you can kind of click on each one and, and get a listing, basically. And as you can see, I've recently used some in average, which I'm going to be using again. To insert an actual formula into a cell, just click in it and type the equal sign to begin your formula. And we're going to do sum. And then the open parentheses is this is a mathematical function. Let's highlight our data. Then close the parentheses and press enter. So Excel has just automatically summed all of the data that we have typed in. As that data changes, the sum also changes. Now to do average, we're going to do the same thing except with the average function. Equals, average, open parentheses. I'm going to select my data, close my parentheses, and there is the average of all of these numbers that are typed over here on the side. As those numbers change, so do the other numbers. Uh, there's a lot of different formulas you can use and just use these drop downs to find a formula that you think you might be needing as they are separated into um, categories. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you some uses of Excel formulas.